from Lawa with an untrained driver. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. Today, I am bringing you a video of Peter Obi, a presidential candidate for last year, that's um, 2023, in Nigeria's general election. He came to Ghana and he was, I think, invited into a meeting or a summit or whatever that he had. And what actually happened was he was given the platform to speak and this man the things that he spewed out was so sad about his country nigeria and i think that is one of the reasons why he decided that he wanted to run as president so that he can change or help change certain things in nigeria but as we all know last year he couldn't get a nod it was tinubu that won but as i always do I don't want to talk much. Let's go into the video and watch or listen to what he said. Come back and talk. To invest in the future. And that's what she said. Education, education, and education. And I thank Ghana. Mr. President, I thank your country. We were at the same rate in 2010 in education. Today, the literacy rate is 72%. We are still at 51. And we are 49 when we started. We've only moved two steps, we've gone over 20. That's where we should be going. People are moving away. It's more time than we're talking about Ghana and everything taking over us. Even if you look at your GDP, it was 32 billion in 2010. Today it's 65 billion. We were 380 in 2010. We're just 395. So it is a question of looking and comparing yourself and moving to the direction of that people are moving. It is issue, one issue, leadership. You cannot compete in the Formula One with an untrained driver. Tell them what. The world is moving away. You need to move from where that people are going. You know, so this idea of uh, all we are doing now is giving, giving people gone to win the election. Exactly. Why are you going to collect the guns back from them? You've won the election, but you are three terrorists that are going to shoot everybody out of the country. How can we give people guns to win election? In Ghana, election was conducted within a few hours. The result was known. Everybody accepted, including Mr. President. Here we are going and shooting people and burning people down and killing people. And you say with the oil, oil should go. Let's think. Thank you and God bless you. So these are the things that he spoke about. Undoubtedly, in recent times, all of us can attest to the fact that Ghana steadily has been progressing. In spite of the difficulties that we've had in, in the country, uh, this current government even spoke about Corona and some of the difficulties they've had, Ghana is still progressing. Because as you heard him, he said some time ago, around 2010, Nigeria and Ghana had, when it comes to education, uh, level was the same but now ghana is far ahead in terms of education and when it comes to the gdp or economy ghana is progressing but nigeria is at the same point that they were back in like 2010 2013 2012 thereabout you see he is so worried that his country and we all know the nigerian leaders sometimes charlie if i'm even talking to some of my nigerian friends and the way they talk about what these guys do in nigeria it's something how can a country not progress with their gdp a country like ghana over 30 something million and nigeria being a country of over 200 million people progressing steadily ghana has progressed like we've we've doubled the digits but nigeria is still at the same rate or the same gdp that they had like 10 years ago that is no progression that is no progression. It's stagnation and they are stuck at one point and they are not moving. Very stagnant and they are not moving. And he will be worried as a presidential candidate who wanted to stand and change things. He couldn't get a nod and he sees what is going on. Currently, Nigerians have been complaining day in, day out on what is going on in the country. Yes, it is not a joke. If they are telling you it is not a joke, but what can you do as a person? The youth 
clearly they were supporting him or they were in support of him but i think his support didn't really get to that level that will allow him to win this is the situation that he finds himself and what can he do all he can do is just wait for the next election then he stand but it's very sad yeah it's very sad i'm as a Ghanaian, i'm happy that ghana is progressing but it's very sad that nigeria is still at where they were 10 years ago and they are still not doing what's progressing but we are hoping that they are going to progress or they will get a better leader that will take them from where they are to a different level thank you so much for watching to invest in the future and that's what she say education education and education and i thank Ghana. Mr. President, I thank your country. We were at the same rate in 2010 in education. Today, the literacy rate is 72%. We are still at 51. And we are 49 when we started. We've only moved two steps. We've gone over 20. That's where we should be going. People are moving away. It's more time than we're talking about Ghana and everything taking over us. Even if you look at your GDP, it was 32 billion in 2010. Today is 65 billion. We will be at 380 in 2010. We are just 395. So it is a question of looking and comparing yourself and moving to the direction of other people are moving. It is issue, one issue, leadership. Yeah. You cannot compete in the Formula One with an untrained driver. Yeah. The world is moving away. You need to move to where other people are going. You know, so this idea of all we are doing now is giving, giving people gone to win the election. Exactly. Why are you going to collect the guns back from them? Exactly. You've won the election, but you are three terrorists that are going to shoot everybody out of the country. How can we give people guns to win election? In Ghana, election was conducted within a few hours. The result was known. Everybody accepted, including Mr. President. Here we are going and shooting people and burning people down and killing people. And you say with the oil, oil should go. Let's think. Thank you and God bless you. To invest in the future. And that's what she say. Education, education, and education. And I thank Ghana. Mr. President, I thank your country. We were at the same rate in 2010 in education. Today, the literacy rate is 72%. We are still at 51. And we were 49 when we started. We've only moved two steps, we've gone over 20. That's where we should be going. People are moving away. It's more time than we're talking about Ghana and everything taking over us. Even if you look at your GDP, it was 32 billion in 2010. Today it's 65 billion. We'll be at 380 in 2010.